is going to be changing once again back to more chances of rain, you say? Mm -hmm. I think that happens by the end of the weekend and okay. into early next week, Neil. But believe it or not, some of us are seeing rain right now. Wow. Just to the north okay. of Tyler, this really? is, of course, is the top of the Plaza Tower, That's brought to right. you by Tyler Neurosurgical and Associates. We do have a lot of dry air aloft, so the radar shot that we're showing you on Viper right now it looks a lot worse than it actually is, but I did have reports out of Lindale and Winona of a little bit of rain falling. Now it's not heavy at all. These are just sprinkles uh, to be fair, but these continue to move from south to north. And here's what we're seeing as far as our temperatures go. And I'll share why I'm showing you these temperatures because we're in the upper 50s and lower 60s, but when you compare that to our dew point temperatures, particularly in our central and northern counties, there are a lot different. So remember, Mineola was at 59. The rest of us were in the 60s. Dew points, they're in the 30s and 40s for the same area. So that's about a 20 degree temperature difference between our dew point temperature and our air temperature, which means the humidity is a little lower, and that means we have a lot of drier air. So all we're seeing is perhaps enough rain to maybe damp the ground, and that's that's about it. I mean, we got a report out of Palestine this morning of about two hundredths of an inch of rain. We've had more substantial rain in deep east Texas. Got a report out of West Lufkin about two tenths of an inch reported there. But Zavala cash in. Look at that. Seventy one hundredths of an inch just to the east of Zavala. So the drier air to the north. We've got the moisture to the south in the Gulf of Mexico. There's your surface area of low pressure that continues to pump that Gulf moisture in to Louisiana and Southeast Texas. And as we look at future cast, my rain chances, they're not going to be zero overnight, but anything that we do see is going to be on the light side. I mean, you can see a couple of sprinkles here and there. That's about as good as we do through eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So don't be surprised if you do see a couple of raindrops on the windshield, but we will be dry by tomorrow evening. It's about seven o'clock in the evening, and then we'll start to see a couple more clouds by early Wednesday morning. So in summary of that 53 tonight, partly cloudy, a light shower will be a possibility. Winds will be out of the northeast at five to 10 miles per hour. High temperatures about where they were today. I've got us in the upper 60s. Here's a look at the six to 10 day precipitation outlook. As Neil and I were talking about Sunday into next Monday, we do have another decent chance of some showers after Sunday and Monday of next week. I do expect a shot of colder air to move in, which might make Thanksgiving a little chilly with those highs in the 50s. But again, that forecast you just saw, that's subject to change. Here are the next seven upper 60s Tuesday and Wednesday 70s Thursday and Friday a scattered shower or two Sunday and Monday and then a quick look at deep East Texas pretty much the same deal upper 60s lower 70s decent rain chances return by the end of the weekend Neil looks great.